quick backstory. About one year ago, I went to my very first YouTuber meetup in Chicago held by Audrey Ember. She really excels at the community aspect of YouTube. There, I met a guy named Dan who has a one wheel YouTube channel and also smart reminders on his camera. He said I could try out his one wheel, but after one look at me in the hill we were on, I left disappointed not getting a chance to try it. Fast forward six months later, I am headed to Vid Summit, Dan, don't disappoint me. There I got to hang out with all sorts of amazing people. I didn't say anything to Dan, but he did not let me down. I finally had my first taste on the one wheel, next to a pool, next to expensive cars, and inside a hotel. It was somehow way more fun than I thought it would be. Fast forwarding one more time to present day, celebrating 20,000 subscribers on this channel, my birthday, our anniversary, Christmas, everything. This is the One Wheel Pint. It's a ton of fun. It feels like a true hoverboard from Back to the Future, not those hoverboards where you stand side by side. From doing a ton of research, riding the pint myself, as well as talking to other one wheel owners, I'm gonna give you my top five accessories for the one wheel pint. Let me know what your top list is in the comments below. First off, the most important thing about the one wheel is not the one wheel itself, but it's you, the rider, and this is what you should be wearing to protect yourself. I can't believe this stuff still fits me. I think my neighbors might think I went too far on the Mad Max side of things. It'll be some interesting conversations in the future. Let's get to the first accessory. My first number one accessory that you should buy for the one wheel is actually the helmet. There are a lot of different helmet options out there. Some are very interesting, but I went with the one wheel triple eight helmet. I thought it looked really nice, has the logo on it. If you wanna go for a little bit lower cost, you can actually just go to the Triple Eight website and get one of those yourself. It's pretty comfortable, doesn't bother me at all, and you do wanna protect your head. The second accessory is also about you. If you fall off the one wheel, the first thing you're gonna do instinctively is put your arms down and you could hurt or break your wrists or get a lot of road rash. So to protect you from that, just like snowboarding, so snowboard wrist guards, there's all sorts of wrist guards out there. There's these hillbilly ones that are really popular, but the ones that I really like are these particular ones right here. They are called the Flatland 3D Pro E-Skate Fingerless Gloves. Let me double check that's what's it. These are called the Flatland 3D Fingerless Pro E-Skate Gloves. And what these have that are special is the back of them, there is a nice little plate that's actually flexible. So you can actually move your wrist down just fine. And a lot of people complain about wrist guards because they can't operate things, they can't, use doorknobs, other things like that, and they're uncomfortable, you can actually bend it down, but it won't let you bend it up. So it keeps it protected. And it also has these patented skid plates on the bottom. And what these are designed to do is whenever you hit the ground and you're falling, it'll actually skid and slide as you move along. And it's not supposed to catch, because when it catches, that's when your arm goes over and, well, you break your wrist. These things also, because they're fingerless, I think they're a little bit cooler. You can also use your phone with touch screens and things like that. Seems to work pretty well. Of course, like everyone else in the first two weeks, I was going about 15 miles an hour, took a nosedive, could not run it out, and put my hands out and just slid and slid and slid. Luckily, Sean Durst prepped me at Vid Summit by doing this planking competition, but now my triceps hurt and that's pretty much it. There was a little road rash on my fingers, but the test for me is could I eat spicy foods and type, and I could do both those things, so it wasn't too bad. The other thing that's nice with these is they don't go too far back on your wrist. So what you can do is unstrap your Apple Watch if you have one and you put it just a little bit farther back and you can still wear it. If you have any larger wrist guards on, you might not be able to wear your watch at the same time as those wrist guards. The third accessory is for you and the one wheel and it is the fender. This is gonna keep rocks out of your socks. It's gonna keep water from sloshing up and hitting you if you go for a puddle. There's a lot of different options out there. This one is from one wheel and it works just fine. There's also a little bit flimsier ones out there. There's mag mount ones so you can pop them on and off, but I would recommend picking one of these up so you don't have rocks hitting you if you go through gravel and other things like that. There is more safety equipment such as elbow pads and knee pads that you can pick up for yourself, but if you wanna protect the one wheel, my number four accessory are rail guards. Now, if you get this thing and this pint will tip over very quickly over and over and over again, you're gonna ding up these side rails here over and over again. These rail guards are basically just stickers. You can get clear ones from one wheel or other places. You can also get colored ones from other places as well. 
and they're going to just help protect it, getting it dinged up less, but just embrace it. It's going to get messed up a little bit here and there. I have found that if you use this in the grass too much and take too many nose dives from turning too sharply or slipping, this will start to peel off. My fifth and final recommendation for the one wheel is a skid plate or a float plate on the bottom of it to protect the bottom whenever you start and stop, whenever you hop off a curb or run into something, it's gonna just protect the bottom of it a little bit better and it does a good job of this. I use the float plate personally and it also has a little bit of a handle on it to help you pick it up. Now the pints also come with a handle themselves. That's also nice, so I didn't recommend that accessory. In addition to these accessories, you can pick up cheap plugs for the power port. You can get different wheels that don't slip and slide as much. They have treads on them. If you want to go in the grass or snow or other conditions, you might need that. And you can also pick up, which I maybe would later recommend, is maybe a larger concave foot pad that's gonna give you a little bit more room if you have too much foot fatigue. Depending on how you use your one wheel, an ultra charger, car charger, or lock might be on your list. I was originally thinking I was gonna take this out, go visit friends, go to restaurants. I will eventually. I'll make sure to put links in the description below to everything that I talked about. Let me know in the comments what are your top five accessories for the one wheel pint.